This is my poem written in response to the William Carlos Williams poem called This Is Just To Say and I wrote it very soon after hearing that poem for the first time and I found that poem so annoying. <laughs> and, um, I, don't, I don't feel like it's a love poem at all. I'd be so annoyed if somebody ate all the plums. So um, this is this is my poem and it's called This Is Just To Reply. Correct. I was saving the plums in the ice box, you prick. If you'd even a hint of this fact, which you obviously did, why eat them? Not even just one, no, the whole fucking lot. Sweet and delicious they were. Thank you for explaining their flavours to me. Me, who pinches their skins, sniffs meticulously at market each week to specifically check for those qualities of sweet and delicious before carrying them back in the basket. Delicately placing them into the ice box, thus easing tomorrow's morning routine. Wake, wake up our children, make them their breakfast, get the plums from the ice box, put fruit snacks in school bags, school bags by front door, shoes on, coat zipped, a kiss on each cheek. Which you'd know if you stopped staying up late writing apology poems about eating the children's fruit snack again, which you mistakenly think I find sweet. <laughs> Thanks very much for having me and have a lovely rest of the night. Bye. Hello, um, I'm really glad to be here among lots of good plums in this really great anthology. Thank you to Aaron for organising and hopefully raising lots of money. I'm going to read my little poem. Because I wanted something to eat, anything sweet and cold, I went to budgeons for fruit. If I hadn't eaten all day, and it was unlikely to fill the gap. However many times one person says, I'm sorry, and forgives another, doesn't matter. I ate the fruit and left. This is just to say, I've drunk the wine that I said I was done with, that I swore after another night of remembering nothing but night that I wouldn't touch. Forgive me, I'm so weak and lost and harried of mind. Hello, I'm Michael Peterson, and it is my veritable pleasure to have contributed a poem to the Plum Review with all these scrumptious humans. Grab it, seize it, lasso it, get it in your life. Nothing left to do but unfurl this punchy wee poem. There, I've said it. I've sucked the juice out the love spludge that glistened in your heart box and which should have been savoured for forever and an even tide. Lo siento, perdona me, I didnae deserve young gooey gloriosity. So returned myself to the begging end of plumless glum, salt knuckle, fist and moof, back to the grid waffling, teeth softening, delicious, miserable work, a loving, it grubby. Hello, this is just to say, this is not part of the poem, but there is an enormous thunderstorm going on in Trinidad. And I am going to be reading Jack Belloli's poem. This is just to say, I have taken the crayon that was in the crayon box and which you would have used for a dino poem. Oh wait, this is one. Dino. Dino!
Hello. I'm I'm not going to get as perfectly timed a thunderstorm here in Oxford, sadly, but here we go. This is just to say, I have bitten the man who was in the Fenlands, although he had probably tagged me as human. Come pet us. We are ferocious. So wolf and so furred. Thank you. I'm not sure how I follow that, but I will try. Um, this is just to say, I have eaten the mangoes that were in your poem and which you debated as exotic signifiers. Forgive me, they were luscious, so golden and sweet fleshed. Thank you. This is just to say you have eaten the free school meals that were in the icebox and which you were probably diverting from food banks. Forgive you? No, there are children literally starving to death in this country, families rolling dice to decide who gets to eat today, teenagers who are leaving school at 16, having never known what it means to eat three meals a day. Put the food back in the damn icebox. Yo. Uh, the first one is a fairly direct translation uh, into Cornish. Hem u hepken the leveril. Mer a thibris and plum essa in gis ruel. Hag me thisesta orth agaguitha rag hansel. Gav them. Essenzi den tethiel. Marshweg hamard yen. And this is a response. This is just to gloat. I have revived the language that was in Cornwall and which you were hoping to murder. Forgive me, it grows yet so fair and so alive. Good evening, everyone. This is just to say the ice between my teeth is plum red when bitten. Steel nails jackhammering a felled autumn sun. Crush then your surreptitious heart, unsweetened and so very cold. Uh, this is an apology to Aaron. Aaron, yeah, so sorry. An apology to Aaron. This is just to say, I'm sorry I didn't write a plum poem for your anthology. Cool and original as you are, I just couldn't find anything to say about plums.